mountains. The mountains are the lifted parts of the earth which have marked slopes and peaks. A mountain can be defined as any natural elevation of the earth's surface. It is considerably higher than the surrounding area. Mountains vary in size and shape. They are of different height. Some are old and some are young. On the basis of their origin, mountains are classified into three main categories. Fold mountains. Tectonic plates are huge rocky slabs of earth's lithosphere, its crust and upper mantle. Tectonic plates are constantly in motion, shifting against each other in fault zones, falling beneath one another in a process called subduction, crashing against one another at convergent plate boundaries and tearing apart from each other at divergent plane boundaries. As a result of the tectonic forces, fold mountains are formed by the horizontal forces of compression. Due to compression, the horizontal rock strata crumbles into a series of upward and downward folds called anticlines and synclines respectively. As most of the mountains are formed in the recent period of geological history, they are also called young fold mountains. The Himalayas of India, the Rockies of North America, Andes of South America, Alps of Europe and the Great Dividing Range of Australia are some examples. Fold mountains formed in the earlier geological time before the young fold mountains have now become eroded and reduced in size, these are called old fold mountains. Examples are the Ural Mountains in Russia, the Appalachian Mountains on the east coast of the USA and the Aravali Range in the central western India. These are the oldest fold mountain systems in the world. Block Mountains Block mountains are created when large areas are widely cracked or broken up by fault lines and displaced vertically. The uplifted blocks are called horsts and the lowered blocks are termed as graben. This form of landscape can be seen in Rhine Valley in Europe. Volcanic Mountains Whenever there is an eruption of volcano, the lava comes out and spreads around the volcanic pipe. With the passage of time, this lava solidifies and gives rise to volcanic mountains. Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa and Mount Fujiyama in Japan are examples of such mountains. The mountains are a storehouse of water. Many rivers have their source in the glaciers in the mountains. Glaciers are rivers of ice and snow which are the source of water for a large number of major rivers of the world. Water from the mountains is also used for irrigation and generation of hydroelectricity. Mountains have a rich variety of flora and fauna. Various animals, birds and different types of plants find their habitat in mountains. Mountains are ideal locations for tourists also. Tourists visit the mountains for their scenic beauty as well as popular sports like skiing, bang gliding and river rafting. Importance of Mountains Crores of people living in lowlands benefit from mountains. Mountains are the sources of both major and small rivers on earth. Mountains also play an important role in the water cycle because they capture moisture from the atmosphere and release it in the form of snow or water which is essential for industries, settlements and agricultural activities downstream. Water from mountains is also used to generate hydroelectric power. Renewable energy from mountains promotes economic development, especially in rural areas. In many developing countries, wood fuel from mountains is the main source of energy for settlements. Mountain wood provides timber for local use and export. Mountains are centers of biodiversity because they have plant, crop and animal diversity. 
Mountains are also the source of wild foods such as mushrooms, birds and game. Mountains also provide ground for recreation, sporting and tourism activities. However, mountains are prone to land degradation, climate change, natural disasters and deforestation. People living in mountains face climatic harshness and disaster risks. People in the mountains often suffer from poverty and lack of access to education and health services. Fact: There are more than 500 active volcanoes in the world. More than half of these volcanoes are part of the Ring of Fire, a region that encircles the Pacific Ocean. Active volcanoes in the US are found mainly in Hawaii, Alaska, California, Oregon, and Washington, but the greatest chance of eruptions near areas where many people live is in Hawaii and Alaska.